Have you ever stood inside a house under construction and looked up at the bones of the building? If you have, you probably noticed something pretty telling. It's either a forest of wooden beams or a sleek skeleton of steel. And while both hold up homes, offices, and even entire skyscrapers, wood and steel framing aren't just two different looks. They represent two very different philosophies when it comes to construction. Today, we're diving into what really separates wood frame construction from steel frame construction, how each system works, and why builders might choose one over the other, right here on History of Simple Things. Wood frame construction is the tried and true method that has dominated residential building for centuries especially in North America and parts of Europe. At its core, this method relies on dimensional lumber. Think of your 2x4s and 2x6, nailed or screwed together to form the skeletal structure of a building. These wooden studs form the walls and are usually topped with wooden roof trusses or rafters and supported by joists underneath. In most suburban neighborhoods, this is what's behind the drywall and siding. The real appeal of wood lies in its availability and familiarity. It's relatively inexpensive, easy to cut and shape on site, and most construction crews are well trained in working with it. You don't need specialized tools, just saws, hammers, and maybe a good nail gun. It's also forgiving. If you make a mistake, you can usually fix it with a few more nails, some wood glue, or a patch job. And wood naturally insulates, making it great for homes in cold or variable climates. Now, steel frame construction is a different beast. Instead of lumber, it uses galvanized steel columns, beams, and studs to form the building skeleton. You'll see this method used in everything from modern homes to office buildings to high-rise apartments. Steel is precision manufactured, so everything fits together with bolts, screws, and welding. That means fewer surprises on site and way less warping or twisting compared to wood. Where steel really shines is in its strength to weight ratio. It's much stronger than wood, so you can use less material to achieve the same structural support. This is why you can build taller with steel, span larger spaces without support columns, and have thinner walls with more usable square footage. Steel also doesn't burn, rot, or attract termites, three things that can spell disaster for wooden structures. So how does the actual construction process differ between wood and steel? Quite a bit, actually. With wood, the framing process is often fast and fluid. Materials arrive in bulk, and crews can start building almost immediately. Walls can be assembled right on the subfloor and then tilted into place. There's a kind of rhythm to wood framing. It's quick, adaptable, and easy to modify on the fly if something doesn't quite fit. Steel, by contrast, is more about precision and planning. Every piece is typically pre-cut or fabricated off-site based on detailed architectural drawings. That means fewer mistakes, but also less wiggle room. You don't just grab a saw and make a last-minute change. Connections are made with screws or welds, and those require more time and technical know-how. And while steel framing might take longer up front, it often results in a straighter, cleaner structure with fewer surprises during finishing. One of the biggest deciding factors between wood and steel, cost. Wood framing tends to be more budget friendly. The material itself is cheaper and labor costs are typically lower since it's faster to build and doesn't require specialized skills. For single family homes, especially in areas where lumber is readily available, it just makes more financial sense to go with wood. Steel, on the other hand, can get pricey. The materials are more expensive and so is the labor. 
you'll likely need professionals who are trained in working with metal, especially if welding is involved. However, steel construction can also save money in the long run. It's less prone to fire, insect damage, and warping, which could mean fewer repair and maintenance costs down the road. Plus, it can offer insurance advantages because it's considered a lower risk building material. Now let's talk durability. How long are these buildings actually going to last? Wood, if properly treated and maintained, can hold up for decades, even centuries, but it does have vulnerabilities. Moisture is the biggest enemy. If water gets into the framing, it can lead to rot, mold, and structural instability. Termites and other wood-loving pests are another concern, especially in warm or humid climates. And let's not forget fire. Wood burns, plain and simple. Steel is far more resistant to these threats. It doesn't rot, it's impervious to termites, and it's fire resistant. But that doesn't mean it's invincible. Steel can rust if it's not properly protected, especially in coastal areas where salt in the air accelerates corrosion. And in extreme heat, like during a major fire, steel can lose its strength and even warp. So while it's more durable in some ways, it still needs regular inspections and upkeep, just like any other material. At the end of the day, both systems have their sweet spots. Wood is ideal for smaller structures like homes, cabins, and low-rise buildings, where cost, speed, and flexibility are key. It's especially popular in regions with a strong lumber supply chain and where the climate is relatively mild. Steel, meanwhile, excels in commercial projects, tall buildings, and structures that demand high durability or large open spaces. It's also a solid choice in areas prone to termites, wildfires, or hurricanes. And because it doesn't shrink or expand like wood, steel framing can be great for projects where precision and stability are critical. So, which one's better, wood or steel? Well, that depends entirely on what you're building, where you're building it, and what your priorities are. Are you after speed and affordability? Wood might be your best bet. Looking for long-term strength and resistance to the elements? Steel could be the way to go. Both have their place in the construction world and knowing the difference helps you make the right call when it's your turn to build. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below will be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.